right at the moment for the impacts we have only one type of a particle so when I keep shooting we see the same particle and that's not good we need to have different particles based on the type of surface we hit so for that we need to have some way to well we have to create different materials for different type of surface so at the moment we have only one uh, sprite material so let's start with that okay first i'll create a new file maybe this would be yeah, this would be enough and i need uh, to make a grid well let me change these to pixels and let me divide this into areas like this This must be in thousand five hundred thirty six. Okay, roughly it's all right. Okay now i have so i'm going to use this as a sheet which contains uh, by using sub uvs i can read so for example this cell will hold the particle sprite for the soil this cell will hold for the particle for the concrete like that well here is a soil image let me place it like this and okay for the concrete this one and we need some sparks where to emit when I hit these uh, metal surfaces uh, let's just see how this one works for the sparks okay for testing I think these things these uh, three elements would be enough so let me save this Call it particle flex. I need it uh, as a PNG, and I imported it to the project, and it looks like this. All right. So now let's create a new material. M flex flex. Right, uh, now let's get this texture. Mm, no, not like this. Uh, I need to get particle sub UV. Yeah, like this. Okay, since I have already selected this here, I get it like this. And then. 
then I just connect this to the base color that would be enough ah yeah I have to connect the alpha so I'll make this one masked and connect the opacity mask like this okay now this is the preview I think I have to set some options not right here deselect the everything or select the main node and search particle yeah used with particle is sp sprites okay I'll enable that and apply save now let's use this material instead of this uh, default one drag and drop it here like this still compiling okay it is compiled now let me pause the simulation so I can go closer to the particle and see how it looks now as you can see here you see all three elements see so that's not what I need I need only one element so for that here we have sub image size so as I have defined in this grid I have one two three four elements four cells in this side and four cells in this side so I have to set X as 4 and Y as 4 and by default I get the yeah I get the C rot or first element that means this one so that's why I get this uh, soil flex here so yeah if I want something other than that I have to set the sub UV index but that option is not available here let's see particle yeah sub image index I can set it not here now in order to set that I think I have to go under particle spawn and then yeah, we have this sub UV no we don't have that all right we have another option called set specific parameters here we have um, sub image index now we have the option here so I think if I set this now to one yeah I get the concrete and if I set it to two I get the well this is the what is this the particle when I get yeah sparkles the particle when I hit metal surfaces now I think I need to change the light in settings here because it should kind of I get dark areas in some sites so maybe okay let's worry about that later for now I'll leave it like this now we know how to change the particles wait what happens there why does it go up
but I'm not sure what's wrong because when I keep making changes strange things happens for example you can see some of these particles are spawning out of nowhere even though I have set the spawn locations to this single point well I guess this is Nagara system is still buggy and let's hope it will be fixed in future releases so anyway I'll stop this episode at this point and in the next episode let's see how to dynamically change uh, which sprite to spawn based on the type of surface I hit with the bullet and thanks for watching if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye